What's up guys, Deathwish back with another video today and today we are going to do our Moscow conclusion video. This is gonna be the last update video of the current conquest event we are in. We are gonna kind of give you guys a recap of everything that happened, how it happened and what we've kind of finished the event with. So um, let's take a look here on the map and let's kind of zoom out as you guys can see. So just to, for those of you guys that may not have seen the previous uh, update videos, the breakdown is it was a, there's eight alliances. We had a four, four versus four split. It was UN, my alliance, TO1, uh, HBR from server 12, and then um, we had uh, NVX from server 15. We were facing uh, VNF from uh, server 20. We faced Mass from server 19. We faced uh, WTF from server 16, and we faced Fury from thir server 13. So as you guys can see, we are the darker blue is TO1. The lighter blue here is all of our UN territory. So we basically, as you guys probably saw in previous videos, we had uh, Fury built up throughout this west side corridor here. We basically pushed them back into one or two villages off the very, very edge of the map here. Completely dominated that side. As you guys can see, HBR took over the north, pushed through the north with uh, uh, some help. of we, we, we helped assist them as well as them help. They helped assist us multiple occasions. We all worked really well together. It was a great event. TO1 also helped, uh, you know, them push through. And then TO1 uh, pushed through the north into the east with uh, HBR, NVX, and H, uh, UN assistance. Same same thing. Uh, as you can see, we pushed through here. NVX, uh, you know, we all, like I said, we all really, really helped assist each other in a lot of key, key situations. And and uh, helped secure a lot of the uh, the the big reward buildings for ourselves. I think we all took over. The four of us took over everybody else's settlements. We got the towns, the blockhouses. Uh, I think we pretty much got everything. Um, so it was a really good event. However, I do want to take a moment here to thank all of the members of the four alliances that are on our side. You guys all did a great job. If it wasn't for each and every one of us coming together and fighting as as a as a as a cohesive unit uh, this event could have gone uh, the entirely other way because for the first part of the event, honestly, guys, uh, it was it was kind of up in the air. WTF, Mass, uh, VNF, I mean, absolutely, we're just were were we, it was a slugfest, right? We would throw a punch and then they would hit us right back, and it was just a slugfest for honestly about a week and a half, two weeks uh, of the event. I mean, it was it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and. And honestly, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't give enough credit to the the other four alliances. Of course, we came out uh, on the the winning side of the deal this event. Uh, but I do want to take some time and, and honestly thank each of you guys from these other four alliances: VNF, Mass, uh, WTF. You guys are extremely, extremely talented alliances, full of amazing fighters. You guys made this event single-handedly the best conquest event that I have personally been a part of since playing this game. It was literally every single day there was big fights big battles i mean i can't tell you how much fun we had uh, there was also some stressful times of course but over the course of the entire event we really really did have a good time i had a blast it, it was it, like i said slugfest back and forth back and forth and and every one of you guys is going to have absolutely awesome future conquest events you guys are going to succeed you guys are going to have a ton of ton of success in these other conquest events and and honestly i hope that that in the future we can work with with you guys as well in some capacity uh, of course i'm not in leadership so i don't make those calls but that's what i hope uh, does happen as you guys can see we have given nvx the kremlin a little bit of backstory there the reason we gave nvx the kremlin um, is because us un to one and hbr have all won conquest events and when i say one i don't mean win as in repute i mean all have controlled the kremlin at the end of the event however nvx has been with all of us in certain certain capacity in certain events and they have not to my knowledge actually controlled the kremlin at the end so rather instead of fighting for it we wanted to make it even um which i think is a fair play i think our leadership teams uh, or i should say the leadership teams from both uh or from all the alliances hbr unt01 made the right call right we've all worked together multiple times we all need to have uh you know uh, hold the crown for for a period of time so awesome job to nvx again they did really 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 great work throughout this event it was well deserved well earned it they again hats off to them hbr phenomenal it was awesome to finally have the opportunity to work with them to one of course is our is our same server ally there in server 14 with us so anytime we're paired together we always work together so always huge uh, huge props to them too they're uh, absolutely warriors so overall 
honestly great event. I want to thank, like I said, every one of the alliances, every one of the members, the leadership teams and all the alliances. Le leadership a lot of times is a thankless job. So I do appreciate you guys uh, and everything you guys have done on the back end of things to make these these events possible for all of us. So that's kind of the breakdown. We divvied up the towns, the blockhouses, the, the arms factories, all of us four alliances on the winning side of this event, uh, divvied them up equally. So we all got the uh, equal fair share of rewards or as equally as we could possibly split it. So really enjoyed this event. We're about to go into our down period now. Um, we have got a little under or a little over two days left until Moscow officially closes. So we're going to stay in here and farm these resources until they, they kick us out, basically. Uh, and then so what that what that means going forward, so you guys have an idea is once we actually get booted out of Moscow and the alliance is open back up again, we're going to be doing some more testing videos and things like that. So keep keep your eyes peeled for that as well, because that's going to be coming down the line here pretty quick as well. So super excited about that and also super excited about getting back into our our server getting recovered a little bit and getting prepped and ready to go for the next event which i do not know exactly what i don't know if it'll be san francisco if, if it'll be cairo don't know what that looks like yet but do know that uh we will be getting ready immediately we will start the transition period and start building up for the next event as well before we go i want to show you guys how it all shook down in terms of rankings and where i placed as a as a individual in terms of the fighting machine where i placed where i placed within our alliance and repute and then also how we finished the conquest event in terms of overall placings all right so i finished 265th in fighting machine not great not terrible um a lot of good fighters as you guys can see the number one player i mean i just can't even put into words having a 750 million score like that's that's just off the charts guys so uh, that goes to show what being active and, and having a dominant air force can do um obviously our man espo uh number two just absolutely balled out and showed showed exactly what un is all about and our fighting capabilities so honestly great job espo you did amazing man um uh, so that's kind of where I placed, as you guys can see, in the Fighting Machine 265th. Uh, I'm not super proud of that. I've done better. Um, but with all things considering and, and some of the holidays involved and things like that, I will take that. I feel like I did a decent enough job to contribute to our alliance. So I, I can't be too upset about that. In terms of alliance repute... <clears throat> We played, we ended up placing second. Hats off to HBR. They did amazing. It was a slug fest back and forth, back and forth. Um, in terms of repute, we passed them, they passed us, we passed them, we passed and, and we we just ran out of steam a little bit at the end there, and they they did not. So they ended up taking the first place uh, trophy there. We got second, TO1 got third, so us three placed in the top three. All, as you guys can see, extremely close to each other in final repute score. So hats off to HBR for, for getting the win there. Uh, well deserved to each one of you guys. And then let's hop over here and I will show you guys my final rankings in terms of uh, repute. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So overall repute, I finished in terms of our whole alliance. We've got 254 out of 255 members. I finished 24th overall with just a little over 77,000 in repute. As you guys can see, Espo, Sean Dog, Axeman, multiple people there at the top with over 100,000 score. We had some some awesome uh, contributions there. Of course, um, we got second place, and you don't get that high in the rankings without people absolutely balling out in repute. So did well again. I try to always be a team player. I try to make sure I pull my weight. Um, so I feel like 24th is it, it could have been better, but I feel like it definitely was uh, a pretty solid base. I literally 77,000 is not where I just stopped because that's when I wanted to stop. I literally used every single thing of energy I had. The little bottles, the medium-sized bottles, and the big bottles. I used absolutely everything I had, and I used gold too. As you guys can see, I've replenished a little bit of gold, but I used. I started to funnel some gold into my, uh, my energy uh, to keep going on repute. I, I, I used what I had. That's as, that's as high as I could go. So I don't have any any doubt that I did everything I could to help this alliance in every capacity that I could. So I feel good about where we're at, where I was at. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm excited to get back into our level three city. I'm sure we're going to have some cross server recruits coming in. Super excited to see who comes in and joins the UN family uh, and the server 14 family. So uh, we'll take a look at that and we'll get some more videos pumped out to you guys, testing videos and things like that. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, we are so, so close to to the 1,000 subscriber mark. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel as it would mean a lot to me. If you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like on the video. If you guys have any questions, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Let me know some things you guys might want to see as we make this transition back into our level three city in terms of future videos. I would love to hear what you guys
guys are thinking and what you guys are wanting to see. And of course, we have now grown the community discord to over 300 active members. Unbelievable in such an unbelievably short amount of time. The, the support is absolutely off the charts and amazing from the entire warpath community we're having a blast over there we're doing great i do want to give a special thank you to all of the people that have stepped up and helped me behind the scenes with the discord um my the hot mess express we've got bright we've got moose we've got uh crash i've got uh hickey helping me work with the admin side of things um we've got community helpers in there now so we're really building this thing into something special so if you guys are not in the discord the link will be below in the description as well as in the pinned comment on this video. So definitely would love to see you guys over there to come be a part of that as well. So really appreciate you guys and we will catch you guys on the next one.